So this is important here, okay? At the end, we want to have this pen pattern has notches as well as the line that customer need. By the end of this video, you will know how to grade pants pattern in close 3D using the auto grading function. Easy step by step. I will share with you some tips and tricks to grade this pants pattern into multiple sizes from small, medium to large. Then we will bring these graded patterns to Adobe Illustrator and give them a finished look. Before we can grade this pants pattern, I want to point out a couple of things here. So right here, this is a quick guide for this pants grading pattern and we want to achieve the result like this. To do that, first of all, we need to save this pants pattern as a garments file. I'm going to come over here to file, click on it. Then hover my mouse down here to save us and hover the mouse to the right and select garment right there. Okay. Then I'm going to name that garment underscore pants and then ready to grid. After that, I'm going to select the folder which I want to save. In this case, would be desktop. Then pants grading, click on it. And I already created a folder for it. So I'm going to select this pant size folder and I'm going to come down here, click on save. All right. After that, I'm going to come over here to this toolbar and as you can see, this transform pattern tool is selected or it is active. If it's not, just click on it and then I can either mark key selects all these pattern pieces just like that or I can or I can command or control plus letter A to select all these pattern pieces. Then I'm going to press on delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. All right. Next, I'm going to let's come over here to this 3D window and I want to press number two here to see the front view of the avatar. After that, I'm going to bring that garments file pan back into close. To do that, I'm going to come back over here to file. Then I'm going to come to add and hover the mouse to the right and select garment. Okay, so by default, Clo brought me back to the garments file that we saved earlier, which is perfect. If not happen for you, just go to desktop, then pan grading, which is the folder that I saved earlier, and then pan size, and then select that garment pants. Okay, after that, I'm going to come over here to open. Okay, this open post and side window pop up. Would you like to load the avatar post and side file? Click on OK. Why not? All right. So now this is a garments file for the pants. And by default, Clo tried to help us out by selecting all the pattern pieces, which is perfect for us. I'm going to come over here to this property editor and then scroll down until I see particle. OK. All right. So down here, particle distance in red, it just means that all the particle distance are different between pattern pieces. What I need to do is hover the mouse over that number right there and type in 20. Then I'm going to press return into on the keyboard to confirm. Okay. After that, I'm going to just pan this 2D window to the left just a little bit. Okay. Next, I'm going to come over here to this objects browser. And I'm going to select this grading icon just like that. And by default, the size is selected. I'm going to come down here to this add button, click on it to add a group size. Then I'm going to just click and then highlight this part right here. And I'm going to name it small. Or as that would do it. And I'm going to press return into on the keyboard. So as I mentioned earlier, to grade this pattern, let me uh, bring these pants right here. 
for us to prepare an Adobe Illustrator, we have to grade this pattern one side by one side. And you will see why. Because right now, we want these notches. That's what we want. And we want all the lines stay exactly where it's supposed to be because we do not want any changes except exact side of the pattern, okay? So I'm going to come back to close and I will show you how. To do that, now I'm going to, once again, while this transform tool is active, and it highlights in blue, I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all these pattern pieces, okay? Then I'm going to come over here to this, you see this twirling arrow right here? That is an assign to the selected side right here, okay? So I'm going to click on the icon right there. And this is information window pop-up. It's warned us that the all Bezier curve points are all pattern will change to three curve points to grade this side properly. We will click on OK. Now, as you can see right here, all these graded points appear onto a pattern. I'm going to come over here to this library tab and I'm going to scroll down to my petite extra small to extra L and then I'm going to double click on it to open and I'm going to select size small. Okay. So if I scroll down here, down to size small, I'm going to double click on it to apply the new side onto this pattern. And it looks like nothing really happened. However, I can check that avatar side to confirm either size small or not. So to check the avatar side, click on the avatar right there. Then come to this property editor. And as you can see right here, petite size small, which is that exactly the side that I want. So after that, I'm going to come down here to this 2D toolbar and click on this auto grading function to bring this auto grading window. Okay, by default, maintain pattern curvature 100%. That's perfect. Maintain graphic size and check. That's what we want. Then I'm going to click on OK. All right. Next, I'm going to click one on the page to deselect so we can see the pants better. OK. So a uh, pen looks just perfect, guy. So right now, what we just did is we graded one side of this pattern. Next, I'm going to export that pattern as a PDF file. And this is the best option, guy. So I'm going to come over here to file. And then select export and then come over here to this Adobe PDF, click on it. Now I'm going to name the file as underscore pants. Okay. Then I'm going to navigate to the folder that I want to save to, which is desktop. Okay. Pan grading. Then pen side, I'm going to just double click on it to open. Then I'm going to come down here, select save. This will bring this export PDF pattern window. And by default, once again, guys, this pattern is for we can bring and place them in Adobe Illustrator. So what that mean is we want the scale to be millimeter. Percentage, we want 100%. Rotation, do not rotate. Okay, this is important. Page margin. Since we're going to bring this to Adobe Illustrator, we want to make sure everything stay perfect. Leave a little room to be safe. We will not cut off anything. And that is just a safe margin for us. Five centimeter on the left, on the right, on the top and the bottom. Show line. I recommend check all that box just like that to select all the grain line and so forth. Then I'm going to click on the twirling arrow right here. Fabric texture, graphic. We don't have to bother about those. So just leave them unchecked down here. Pattern, annotation, line length, graphic line. Since a pen right here have the button hole and the button, we want to check that. And 2D measurement, we also want to check that. After that, I'm going to click on OK to confirm. 
Okay, there you have it, Designista. I hope you find this video useful and remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.